Hey, the bugs. So I'm here, guys, to do a reading for cancer. This is going to be for cancer, all house placements. If the messages here resonate, then of course, as always, I want you to take them. Newbies, cross watchers, you are welcome here. This is read from cancer's point of view. All right, love. So I want to thank you all for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If I did not already. All right. If you wish to book, shop, all that information will be in the description box below. All right. So karmic partner did fall out with empathy. All right. Let's see here, though. What messages do we have for my cancer? Romantic gesture first played out. Because I feel like romantic gesture has been coming out a lot. Perfect match. <laughs> okay, now. Let's see. What messages for cancer? Virgo. Wow. Let's see here. Aquarius is in the reverse. <sighs> Cancer, why do I have a feeling that there could be somebody, could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be, even possibly a, an Aquarius, doesn't have to be here, all right? But I feel like there's somebody that is moving towards you that is coming in that you don't believe is a good match for you or you don't believe that this person is idea in nature. Maybe this is not what you were planning for. Maybe this person is the total opposite of every single thing that it is that you thought that you wanted, right? Um, and you find yourself getting along very good with this person. Tell me more about perfect match for cancer. Express your feelings. This person can be uniquely different, all right? I do want to say that. I mean, I guess that's a Double negative in a sense, uniquely, unique and different. But, um, yeah, this person is giving me an energy of somebody that's different, that moves different. They have a different um, outlook on life in general, especially relationships, okay? Um, this can also be someone who's very much balanced in their divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So I do want to mention that as well. I just, when I looked up, it was 222 two, two on the clock, Cancer. Um, yeah, there's something about this that's giving, mm, I don't know. It's like, ugh, I can't explain this energy. This is somebody who, um, for some of you, you may question if this person may like the same sex. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, but it, it just is that. For those of you where this person uh, is the where this is not a same sex relationship, or if this is a same sex relationship, you may question if the person likes the opposite sex, right? Maybe they are, you know, it, whatever it is. It, the reason you're getting this feeling about this person, Cancer, is because they're balanced in their divine masculine and divine feminine energy. This is somebody who has empathy and they're able to tap in. Especially for my divine feminines, this is a divine masculine who is able to understand what you're saying. They're able to... They're able to tap into their own divine feminine energy. They can see things from your point of view. Doesn't mean that this masculine is, you know... This is not giving a metrosexual to me. It's not giving metrosexual. It's, it's just not, okay? You may really be deciding that this person is not for you, Cancer. Wow. If you were my best friend, I want you around all the time. Would you be my best friend? So this is going to be a missed opportunity, y'all. Look, we got best friend playing games, lifelong commitment, and missed opportunity. This is somebody who may be actually, truly, seriously pursuing you, Cancer. And I'm worried that you may overlook this person. Tell me more about that Aquarius in the reverse for Cancer. What is this Aquarius in the reverse for Cancer about? Power couple. You don't think, look, you got power couple, perfect match, romantic gesture. Listen, perfect match, romantic gesture, and power couple here. This Aquarius energy in the reverse is making me feel like you don't believe that this person is your true match. You don't, uh, this may not be what you were asking for, what you were looking for. This may actually come effortlessly. There's something about it that just, just is 
leading you to believe that this person may not be They may also be a dark empath, all right? So I want you to be aware of that. Sensitivity was flipped up in the deck. What did I tell you? This is somebody who... <laughs> y'all, empathy at the bottom of the deck, y'all. I can't make it up. This is definitely... Like, why would you not accept this? Like, okay, so... There may be something about this person that's quirky that's going to make you not accept this. There's something about this person you don't like overall. It could, and, But it's something that's superficial, Cancer. Like, they're giving me it's superficial. So, this is something like this person's look, the way they dress, the way they walk or talk or something. Like, it's superficial. This person is perfect intellectually, emotionally, all right? Um, for some of you, it may freak you out that this person is so in tune with you. You're not used to that. Hmm. Let's see here. Tell me more about this perfect match and express your feelings for cancer. Seven of Wands. What did I say? You're, you, it's something about it that you're just not into at all. Tell me more about that. The Knight of Cups. Like, yeah, you're not going to want to accept this for one reason or another. The High Priestess is at the bottom of the deck. The Hermit, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Mm. Tell me more about romantic gesture and sensitivity for Cancer. The Page of Pentacles. You may be, you may feel as if this person is being manipulative, like they're really not like this, okay? So for some of you, you believe this is just a manipulation tactic, that this person is really not like this, that they don't really feel this way. The magician, yeah, you feel like they're just bringing illusions and they're really trying to hide who they really truly are. Yeah. Yeah, so in order to, like you, you feel like this person is trying to create a false connection between you and them. Tell me more about Virgo and over it for cancer. The fool. Cancer, you may have already turned your back on this person or you may turn your back on this person. Oh boy. Let's see here. Tell me more about power couple on Aquarius and reverse for cancer. The nine of pentacles. Yeah, like you may turn this down. Tell me more about the nine of pentacles for cancer. The Knight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. Like this person is coming in and they're making you this offer. Look at this. The Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person, like they are really a good match here, Cancer. I don't understand why you wouldn't be interested in this person. Why you're not, you know, wanting to be bothered here. Tell me more about over it for Cancer. The Star. Now, I told you this Aquarius card is represented by the star. So, yeah, what did I say? Maybe this person shows up at a time. Yeah, you don't believe it. You just don't believe that this person is really who they are. I mean, you just don't believe it. You don't believe it, Cancer. After everything that you've been through, all the people you dealt with, all the different personalities and the conflicts that you dealt with in relationships, here's somebody coming in and this is who they truly are, okay? This is somebody who can be masculine and, 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 and still tap into that feminine energy this is somebody who understands you okay or this is a feminine who's able to tap into her masculine and understand where you are coming from okay um this person is romantic they're kind they're giving they're nurturing and you feel like it's all a ploy you like this is the representative you feel like you, you feel like this person is just using some sort of strategy strategy being sneaky trying to uh pull you in. Tell me more about the seven of swords for cancer. The page of wands. What did I say? Like, this is what you believe is going on. You don't believe that this is the person's true self that they're showing you. All right. You just don't believe this is their true self. This has the potential to be very successful. Okay. You try several times to be in relationships or higher levels of commitment and they had not worked out. And these were, and this was with people who were nothing like what you were looking for. 
And now here comes somebody that's something that you're looking for, something that you're interested in. And, and they, or at least they're presenting that to you and you believe it's all a game. So you may very well miss this opportunity, loves. I hope you do not. Okay, so this is actually where I'm going to leave this off at because it's so cut and dry. There's somebody coming to you or you're currently dealing with this person. This person could be an Aquarius. Could definitely be a Virgo. Okay, doesn't have to be. Could be any sign at all, but the point is, Cancer, this person is what you've been looking for. They're making all the right moves. They're saying all the right shit. And because you've been hurt before, you may not believe that this person is serious. I have an overall feeling that they are, though. So I'm not going to end the reading here. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. <laughs> and I'm going to actually look and see. I'm going to look and see. Because I want to know why you don't believe in this. Let's see here. What is going on with cancer in this situation? Why does cancer not believe this? And, I, and furthermore, I feel like this is true love. They're making me feel like this is a true match. True love. Is this a true match? And true love for cancer. Let's see here. Messages for my cancer. The five of wands, <laughs> the six of wands, the strength tower, the queen of pentacles. Tell me more about the five of wands for cancer, the six of swords, the tower. You know what the problem is, Cancer. You already had gotten over something that was ugly. An ugly ending possibly with Scorpio, Aquarius. I mean, I'm sorry. It could be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be a Leo up there with the strength card. An Aries, okay? Um, you have finally overcome something. And you started to go out and embark on new things, all right? Um, you kind of gotten used to uh, doing things alone. You're not interested in being disappointed again, Cancer. That's the problem. Yeah, you're not interested in being disappointed again. So you may have been pushing people away or not dealing with people out of fear of disappointment. All right. Tell me more about that Five of Swords. Yeah, look at this. The Empress. You are like growing. Things are growing and changing and expanding in your life. And so, therefore, coming out of such a turbulent situation, you're trying to be mindful of people coming in with illusions. And you feel like this person is coming in like people that you've known from your past, being emotionally manipulative, all right, um, using what they got to get what they want, per se, okay? But this person, I believe they're actually being genuine. Tell me more about the Six of Swords for Cancer. You were very disappointed. Some of you had to leave your home or you, something. There was a breakdown in the home. The four of wands. Yeah. The eight of swords. The ace of swords and the knight of swords. Someone is this person coming in. This four of wands, eight of swords, ace of swords, the knight of swords. This is someone that's coming in very seriously. They mean what they say, okay? They are truly who they, like, who they presenting to you is actually who they really are, Cancer. This is somebody that's not trying to, like, run game on you and pull the wool over your eyes. But because of what you've been through, I believe that you may believe this, all right? Be mindful that you don't mess this up. Four of Swords. I know you went through a lot to heal. But, baby, if you don't want to be alone, you got to let somebody in the door. All right? This person is not, like, being elusive. They are not being um, dishonest with you. All right? Um, at least not initially coming in. All right? Loves, this is where I'm leaving this off at. If the messages here resonated, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye-bye.